Hey, what's going on guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Apocalypse. It is the morning of day three and we're still here on top of the shed. I did a little bit of work last night. I broke out two blocks, got some iron from it. I uh, wasn't able to do much though because you got to move very slowly and carefully as to not attract any zombies. We also did some cooking in our campfire last night, so let's go grab all the shit out of there and then we're going to spend a couple of hours working on our home here. All right, let's get down here. Now, something someone asked me, which I wasn't even sure myself, I had to do a little bit of digging, is how do you upgrade your tools now in Alpha 18? Because it used to just be the intellect perk, but now it is the minor 69er perk. So you have to upgrade that in order to make better tools. So I'm gonna be focusing on that perk, but also I dropped a point into intellect last night and that opened up Grease Monkey. So uh, pretty soon we'll be able to craft a bicycle. All right, backyard looks a little bit better. Nice and cleaned up. Let's start working on the front. Look at this, we're doing a house flipper in the middle of the apocalypse. If anyone's wondering what that icon is in the lower left corner, it's efficient digestion. It's a buff, so it's actually a good thing. You get that from drinking red tea. And what it does is it reduces the amount of food and water you need to drink and eat while regenerating stamina. So it's great to have while you're doing a bunch of work and constantly exerting yourself. Basically, it means we have to eat and drink less. Actually, I'm going to pull this frame out. That light's working, so... We'll uh, leave that block open, let that light shine in. I'm not sure if I want to seal this in or expand the back or put in another door here. I'm not sure yet, but I know whatever decision I make, this framework here has got to go. Clean up the front yard a little bit. Now, we could smash this car with the sledgehammer, but I'm going to leave it there for now. Hopefully, we can find a wrench today and take it apart. And, uh, yeah, we just want to extend this a little bit more, then close it in, put in a door, and we'll be good. All right, enough home improvement for now. Let's venture out. I was thinking we would go by the water tower, grab some water. I have my glass jars on me, but let's put that off for now and go do some looting first because I'm sure we're going to find some more glass jars while looting. And then on the way home, we'll hit up the water tower. This is that Butcher Pete's place. Oh, there's Cracker Book. Oh, we're definitely going there. Butcher Pete's is great if you need food. But we're good on that for right now. Um, we need weapons and better tools. Let's do crack a book for sure. And we got a passing gas right there. We'll do that too. We should be able to loot these two places relatively quickly. Wake up, motherfuckers. It's murdering time. Oh, give me that back. Here, have it again. And he's dead. Who's next? Alright, scrap that for the brass. And there are definitely some more zombies in here, so we should probably stop looting and check this out here. Here we go. Come get some. Ooh, got her in the arm. In the throat. Now. Can we get the headshot? There it is. <laughs> Amazing. Well... Got real quiet, so fuck it. Let's keep looting. Oh, I'm a madman with these spears. People have already told me I should start a series, you know, spears only, but why? That's pretty much what this is going to be. I'm just going to use them. I mean, not for the Horde Knight. That would be interesting, though. I would definitely try taking on a horde with, like, an entire a full inventory of spears <laughs> and see how that goes. You're going to have to be get pretty close to them to start fetching your spears back, though. Um, I did talk about doing a fists-only playthrough in this uh, alpha, though. 
once I heard that you can get like brass knuckles and spikes and shit for your hands and there's a whole perk set gear just towards like punching zombies, but I don't know, it's gonna be tough, man. Fists only in this alpha? I mean, I'll still give it a try and see how it goes. You'd still be able to use tools for harvesting resources. What about hunting, though? Probably, right? Would you still be able to use weapons for hunting, or would you have to run down a deer and punch it to death? Because I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's see if we can get some sneak damage in with the spear. Oh, should have aimed a little higher. Not bad, though. Got him in the arm. Oh, see ya. Uh, I think that's a wolf howling. We better go check that out. Ooh, pipe bomb recipe. That's sweet. Because, yeah, wolves usually only howl when uh, there's enemies nearby. So it could be a zombie or it could be us. There's definitely one out there. I don't see it, though. Oh, shit. There he is. I knew there was a wolf out there. All right, we can get in the bathroom. Oh, shit, that door's locked. Um... You think we got time to break this door open before Cujo breaks through the fucking glass? Probably not. This is opened here, though, so we could just drop a frame in that doorway. Come on, buddy. Can we shoot him through that glass? Never mind. Oh, we got him. We fucking hit him. All right, put a frame down. Let's upgrade it. Twice. Got to be careful. That wolf could probably jump through this opening, but as long as we keep hitting it, where the hell's he at? Come on. And that's stone. Uh, where are you at, buddy? That door's locked. We could start cracking into this loot back here. <laughs> until this wolf decides to show up. Put a frame up there just to be safe. Oh! Oh, what is he attacking? Tell me he's coming through the wall. It sounds like he's breaking up wood. It, oh, there he is. Yeah, right on the nose. Oh, in the ass. Yeah, you better run. Bastard. Let's see if we can hit him. With the arrows. I hate to let him get away. Yeah, bitch. Try to run away. I mean, it's kind of cool that predators like a wolf would run away when injured. But I think only if it realizes... I know this is crazy to even say, but it realizes that it doesn't have the upper hand. Like, if you're out in the open and the wolf is chasing you and you shoot it with an arrow, I doubt it's going to just turn around and run away. It'd probably keep coming at you. I don't know. Bears will definitely not run away. It doesn't matter where you are. A bear will come and try to murder you. And a mountain lion, I don't know, haven't encountered one out in the wild yet. Oh, wake up with a spear in the face. How did that not kill him, dude? With the sneak damage. Give me that goddamn spear. See ya. Let's see if we could do the same thing to her. Oh, right in the side of the head. Give me that spear back. Oh my god, dude. I'm a beast with these things. I don't usually like to talk myself up, but I'm a fucking spear master. I might have to change my name to that, to Spear Master 9. All right, let's get out of here. That was a good little run, though. Um, I'm going to go make a stop at the water tower. I've got a bunch of glass jars on me, so let's go get those filled up there. And then we're going to drop off a bunch of shit back home. And then we'll go hit up that passing gas. Alright, it's getting a little late, but we shouldn't have any problems clearing this place out and looting it. And what the hell is that over there? Alright, we gotta check this out first. Berserk Bills. 
I've never seen this before. That's funny as hell, though. Props to whoever designed that. Well, checking out Berserk Bills wasn't a complete waste of time. We killed a rabbit, got a little bit more meat. That place is funny, though. We might have to make a base there just so the zombies destroy it. Oh, shit. Look at this. A bellows and an iron pickaxe right in this car out front. That's nice. And some oil. We haven't even gone in the building yet. All right, let's get in here. The door to the garage is unlocked, but we're going to leave that closed for now while we loot this place. Ooh, that was mineral water. That is some water in the game that you can drink without having to worry at all about getting dysentery or sick or any of that shit. It looks like there might be some room to have loot up there. I think we can get a look from jumping up from here. Now, maybe if we put a frame down. Whoops. Try that again. Just want to get a quick look. Anything? I don't think so. Uh, Alright. We searched this already, right? Anything in here? There's a box. Nothing. Uh, let's check the bathroom real quick, and then we'll go into the garage. Well, we found a pistol in the toilet. That's good. It wasn't loaded again, though. I don't think stashed guns are loaded anymore. Someone said that the fun pimps actually mentioned that. That, you know, stashed or hidden guns wouldn't be loaded in the world. But I don't know if I believe that, because that's kind of bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, if you have a gun stashed in the counter at your business, of course it's going to be loaded. Why else would you have a gun there? What are you going to do? Protect your business with an unloaded gun? Are you going to throw it at the criminal? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or are you going to politely ask them to wait a second while you put rounds in your pistol? Even guns stashed in like a... Ooh, headshot right through the helmet. Um, yeah, even guns stashed in like a nightstand. Oh, shit! I'm out of stamina and he's running at me. Oh, damn it. Underestimated this guy. Let's get some distance in between us. That sucked. Um, yeah, was totally going off on a rant and wasn't really on my toes there. Um, dude, how many headshots I gotta get on this guy? There he goes. But yeah, even a pistol stashed in a nightstand for home defense, you would think, would have rounds in it. Let's see if we can take this pig's head off. Uh, no, he's mad. Come on. Oh shit, he's still mad. Up on the car. Oh. Come on. Oh, he's getting up on the car. Dude, chill, pig. Oh my god, a spear in the head didn't do it. We're bleeding out. We're gonna get fucking killed by a boar. Holy shit. We really are gonna get killed by a boar. This is crazy. Uh, let's get on one of these cars here. Come on, we're out of stamina. This guy, holy shit. That didn't do it either? Three arrows and a spear in the head? Oh, there he goes. Holy shit, dude. Boars from hell. We really almost just got killed by a boar. That's crazy. This alpha is crazy, dude. I feel like I have to be constantly playing, like, at my best in order to not die. Alright, we got zombies down here. Um, okay, one under the stairs. And two others on either side here. I'm not gonna go down there and fight. Screw that. It's way too tight and crazy down there. Let them come up here at some point. Can I shoot through these bars? Oh, this guy's coming up. Let's deal with him first. Ooh, 11 more repair kits. Those are going to come in handy. Because you cannot repair tools anymore with materials. So an iron tool cannot be repaired with just a piece of forged iron. You have to use a repair kit. And now you need forged iron to make repair kits. Alright, let's get our ass back home. It's a little bit later than I would have liked because we still have a decent amount of work left to do back there. I need to get it all sealed up. This way we can spend the night inside there tonight digging up the floor.
I think this is a good start. Tomorrow we'll cut down a couple of more trees and we'll upgrade all of the wood one more time and then we can start upgrading with the cobblestone. We don't want to go too crazy with upgrades here. We want to make it fortified, but uh, nothing over the top. If any zombies come banging on the this place during the night, they'll come banging on the door and we can always do our frame trick. I'm going to have an escape route up to the rooftop and we're also going to have an underground bunker here as well. All right, there we go. Look at our skylight with our light right there. That's awesome. Uh, we can get some torches up on the wall. Light it up in here. This is still open. And it's officially night, so we need to be careful. Not the safest place right now. Grab all this bottled water here. We can actually go ahead and make some more boiled meat as well. I can't believe boiled meat now also gives you a small chance of food poisoning. So does bacon and eggs. I think everything does, except for maybe some canned food. So it's like the fucking opposite of what it used to be. Canned food is what used to always give you the chance of food poisoning. Now, I think canned food is the only way to go if you want to try to avoid getting sick while eating. But I don't know for sure, though. I probably should go through the creative menu and look at all the food and know for sure before I just start talking shit, right? Um, but I'm going to keep eating meat anyway. You know? Fuck it. If I puke all over myself, then that's just, it is what it is. All right, we've got a couple of repair kits. I'm going to use one to repair our shovel and another one to repair this steel pickaxe we found at the passing gas. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get another land claim bo uh, block moving because I want to get everything up off the floor in here. We could start knocking uh, the shit off the walls. All this stuff's got to go. All right, let's just start digging up the floor. What are we getting here? Sand and stone? Oh, that's good. We're going to need the sand to make concrete eventually, and uh, we need a whole bunch of stone so we can continue to make cobblestone, so all of that is good news. I'm going to dig up the entire floor here, then what happens when we go down one more block? We start to get clay soil. All right, that's going to come in handy as well. So yeah, I'm just going to spend the night digging up this entire floor, and we'll see how far along we can get. And basically, we're going to replace the entire floor with wood blocks. And then we're going to keep digging down and make an underground bunker as well. I want this all cleaned up. And uh, yeah, this is, again, going to be our home. This is where we're going to put our storage. This is where we're going to put our workbench, forge, cement mixer, all the good shit. You know, all of our stuff will remain here. And we want it fortified in case zombies come fucking around at night. But this isn't going to be where we're going to hold down the hordes. That we still need to figure out. The, the, I do kind of have an idea for something that we can build relatively quickly and probably get done by night seven if we start in the next episode. But it involves building off of a pre-existing structure. So I don't know. I still have to think about what we want to do for, for night seven. Because, dude, this alpha is freaking crazy. I have no idea what to expect uh, for the day seven horde. But I do know zombies are way tougher than they used to be, so uh, we definitely need to be prepared. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Like I said, I'm going to keep digging throughout the night. We'll see how far along I can get. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Apocalypse, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.